circus owner and art collector John Ringling and his wife Mabel first purchased property here in Sarasota in 1911. And the grounds are broken up into his winter residence, Sadzan, Venetian style, a solo theater, the rose garden, the galleries, and the circus museum. It's $25 admittance if you come on one of the days other than Monday. Curve and Curve is by Beverly Pepper, an American born 1922. She's a pioneer in the use of core 10 steel in structure. They're all commissioned for Queen Isabella of Spain. Steve and I know nothing about technique. All we do is we marvel at the size of these ginormous paintings. The doorways and the wainscoting was purchased from the Villa Palmieri in Florence. In the Renaissance, collectors built rooms to house a collection of remarkable man-made and natural objects. Italian, Italian art from 13th and 14th century. When we took our five children to Europe in 1978, they could always recognize St. Sebastian pierced with all the arrows. This exquisite daybed, daybed might have been commissioned in 1508 to celebrate a, a marriage. The painters signed and dated it on the sword. That is Judith after she cut off the head of Holofernes. Holofernes? And that's another Judith with the head by a different painter. Franz Hals was the leading portrait painter in the Dutch city of Harlem near Amsterdam. The sitter in these portraits was one of the most powerful men in Harlem. He had breweries. And these works were painted about a decade apart. The first around 1629 and the second 1639. They reflect the, his changing appearance, but also the evolution of the artist's style. He used thinner brush strokes in his later portrait, we're now into the abstract, which I have trouble understanding. I looked up abstract in art, and it does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of visual reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, forms, and marks to achieve its effect. James Terrell employs the power of light to immerse the viewer in the experience of art. We were lucky enough to see some of his art in Naoshima, Japan. Brilliant. To see it, you have to come when it's open at night around twilight. Of course, the lighting changes as the sun starts to set, which immerses the viewer. Terrell's sky space is called Joseph's Coat, which makes sense, Joseph's Coat of Many Colors. What, what happens twice a week around sunset? They open this, it's $10. And what you do, you sit and you watch the clouds and the colors and the lights. I can understand this better than some of the abstract. copy of Michelangelo's famous David. 
which fortunately we did happen to see again on that famous trip to Europe in 1978. Here we have Sarasota Bay with all the different keys out there. His mansion. Love the Moorish eyes. No, we're not supposed to. Oh, I'm sorry. Fabulous grove of banyan trees. Some nice sized turtles or tortoises doing the morning paddle. Those are big. Not very much is blooming right now, Mabel's Rose Garden. There are 66 acres of grounds to walk around. And this was the entrance to Ringling's Palatial estate. It said it's Venetian Gothic Palace, but to me it looked very Moorish. 